your comment in this game is that I don't know what I can do to solo to, to solo to solo it. We have a weird draft, and I can only and only I can catch Tinker. There's no way that you can solo win the game unless you're a Smurf, like 1K or 2K MMR higher than the usual rank. But in your current or in your proper in your proper game like this, like in your proper rank, you can have easily one versus ten, or one v nine, or solo win the game. We have a weird draft, and only I. I don't think you have a really weird draft. Offlane zoos. I mean, do you really want to focus on the draft, like your offlane zoos, or do you want me to focus on your zoo, on your Zven? Because the mentality of um, the mentality of my students, like focusing on their hero only. Let's say you Zven, focusing on Zven only is gonna yield more result than if we talk about your teammates like offlane zoos and i don't really want to talk about the offlane zoos i want to focus on your men because that's your replay if we talk about zoos offlane in which the player is not here he's not going to improve you are here but yeah to be fair the the bottom lane is considered as lost already, like Zeus against AM, and then what's the support? Undying or Rubik or Spirit Breaker. But to you as well, um, I don't think the Tinker will play offlane. Possible it's Spirit Breaker, Undying or Rubik. And if you think that the enemy has a weird offlane, if you think your draft has a weird offlane Zeus, the enemy has a weird offlane as well. Like Undying, Spirit Breaker, it's weird as well. Ancient Fur is a wall? I don't think so. It's only a matter of uh, it's only a matter of um, perspective. Because whenever I smurf on my divine, I'm actually stomping games. Even though I'm I'm not a main carry player, I can easily stomp the game with my divine account. Wait, wait. Keep on farm. Yep. Last hitting. Last hit range. Nice attempt, but... No, no, no. Don't, don't, don't try to tank so much. So here. Oh, Ancient Forest is your wall. Alright. Hopefully we can uh, get past your wall after the analysis. Let's see what's your problem. But I think one of your problem is your mentality. Based on your comment alone. Like, do you have a weird Zeus offlane? That throws you off the game? Do you have a prejudice? That this guy is no good. Everything can work in Dota 2. Last hit, yep. Keep on last hitting, yep. You should, you should really get the uh, magic stick, magic wand. But for now, be, be more patient about your creep, creep equilibrium. Just, just let it stay like that. But don't tank the creep wave as well, please. Don't tank. Doing the creep aggro. Um. Okay. Deny. Last it. Yeah, this is a problem. Uh, th that's why I don't want to do the creep aggro in here at this point. Um. Because naturally, the enemy has um has two range creeps. Naturally, it will be pushed in towards you hey the guy has five creeps right so even if you you don't go for creep aggro um since you know the position of the enemy like you're actually paying attention to them you can just easily play in here you don't need to creep aggro like this because um now you're going to be forced to play here and they can easily clear this as well and ta -da. you're going to lose some HP in there and then some creep or maybe you will not lose Ah, you lose one Excellent idea. Excellent idea. Excellent. Shadow demon pulled the wave Um another thing as well that I I noticed is that you didn't even cut any any trees in the in the side 
this one is good but you, you have to do it much earlier in that sense you will be able to um create some path for your team uh, for your um shadow demon specifically so you can go here and then here pull from there so keep cutting so those trees for easier passing rubik was there wait why are you tanking the creep wave and you're it's going to die no it's not you're tanking the creep wave <coughs> class it Are you are you here earlier when I did the uh, replay analysis on Svin as well, uh, the uncalibrated guy, the perb? Are are you here earlier? <coughs> Where's your courier? You you didn't you didn't micro your courier because your items was not delivered. Or did it die? No, it didn't die. So you can actually just put your courier in here or here. And then send it back to you. So yeah, I, I think I, I talk about it about this, right? Great cleave points. If you, if you go for cleave immediately, it's it's gonna push out the lane naturally, like this, because um you will damage those creeps. And yeah, magic one, and then go for boots. Okay, um, nice attempt in there. I don't know why you didn't go for the range creep right there. Do, do, do you know how the creep aggro works or the tower aggro works? Um, the uh, the enemy units that has been hitting and the closest to the tower will be prioritized. So here, since the, the range creep is hitting you and then he is the closest one to the tower, he is going to the, to the range creep instead. And yeah, you get surprised by it. And with the cleave, you did not manage to last it because natural um, normally... It needs like two tower hits and then one right click from a hero. So yeah, the cleave is actually messing up your last hit in there. And the, the aggro is really important. Closest unit attacking hero or the tower. So the uh, the lane is being pushed in. Um, double wave. And you're, you'll be harassing here. You go back, go back, go back. It, it, even though the enemy has a weird draft, like, they know how to make it work. Right? The creep equilibrium is in their favor. And then they're just shitting on you. Your shadow demon is not doing anything. Um, I think you should you should cast this um, iron branch right now. And then go for tango. Just so you could, um, you, you will not be that low. And I suggest you push out the lane immediately right now and then go to the jungle. If you if you stayed in here longer, you will die. And wait, why you're going to fight? Just just let the shadow demon do his job and then you push in here. All right, so first wave, second wave. It will be denied if, if you're only alone. Deny. What the fuck is this guy doing? He didn't deny. Um, well, it's worth it now because um, you managed to kill the uh, the tombstone. Look at the gold. 125. The Undying can easily deny the tombstone because of your attack animation. You don't have the attack speed already. Right? I don't know why he didn't deny it. So it's worth it. But for me, um, I think it's fine if you just let the Shadow Demon die or do do his job and then keep on hitting the creeps. Two versus one, Magic One, War Cry. TP out. You should TP out. And then walk. You, you still want to farm? Okay. Stack maybe? Um, if, if you're going to play jungle at this point, maybe you should go for the gloves and then rush the morbid mass. Because the gloves is like, what, 500? Oh, 450. Sorry. And then this one is 900. So half the cost of the, um, of the morbid mass. 
Pushing limits. But yeah, but, but you ended up buying salve because of it. Which is 110 gold, right? Which is like two, three creeps? Okay, it's fine. You even go for the God's Rank? Um, yep, yeah, God's Rank, yep. Ocean Heart. Now you're out of the lane because you're alone. Shadow Demon is busy. Bottom. Shadow Demon is actually strong against AM. Stack. Kinoptic. Okay, um, you can actually buy the Morbid Mass. Ah, you, you went for Power Treads and then you went to lane? Mm, okay. AM was here. Shadow Demon followed. Missing some CS. But Undying is still here. You don't have God Strength. I don't think you should be fighting right now. You should prioritize farming. Yep, like this. Agi, okay. More attack speed. Cut the tree. Why you're not cutting tree? I mean, if, if you cut some tree in here, it, it will just um, make you faster from moving here to here. Because you're creating paths, maybe just some milliseconds, but if, if it adds up together one or two seconds or even a minute later stage of the game, it's going to be important. Because the faster you clear creeps, the better farming speed you have or rate. So here, yep. You should you should be more creative about the passing. Um, going back to lane? Okay. It's only full wave, like 200. It's only 200... 200 Creep. You could actually finish this and this. Or you could even go here and here and then go to the Ancients with a God Strength. But yeah, it's, it's your farming pattern and then it's free as well. Um, but it's kind of... You're kind of deep in here. God Strength only for... What? I don't think the God Strength is necessary in there. Even without God Strength, you can easily push it. You can you can easily push that wave. 4.5. Much better. Compared to the last one. Farming pattern, and then you're not dying, which is nice. And then focusing on jungle. Yep, it's nice. But as a Sven, 4.5. It's, it's kind of low, but it's still, it's still a good... So let's let's see your farming pattern. Yo Milo, don't, don't go in there. Here you're watching even though you're not going to participate. Which is not which is good, good practice. Once you can clear the ancients, go in there as soon as possible. As soon as possible. That's how good ancients are. That's why in our in, more, in our games, in our bracket, we have the highest priority on the ancient camps. Look at here. Bounty 7989. 124. XP bounty. 39 to 45. So let's say average 100 to, uh, 150 to 200 golds in there. 150 to 200 golds. And then each kill is like 235, 300 because of the streak. So average kill right now is 200, but you can easily um, take the ancient camps, and then you will get solo experience. If if you will fight, like go to the t to the uh, heroes as well. Possible you will die, and possible you are going to share the experience with your teammates. But with the ancients alone, you are going to um, freely get everything. And have you ever wonder why Terrorblade before, even though he will go for jungle at level four? If you just let the Terrorblade unattended, he he's going to be the top network on the um, on the side. That's how important ancient ancient camps are. It's it's worth it, it's it's worth it than killing. It's way better than killing. What item or what timing should I go? Um, since you have the morbid mass earlier and then you have the god strength you can go at that point wait you're actually playing against one of my boys 
Jay, you're actually playing with one of my boys. My friend. Um, he's actually my friend in a uh, in BPO or call center before, and then we we played some tournaments as well. Jay is actually good good player. Um, I I will not I will not say that he's a good tinker, but I'm he's a good friend of mine. I am a one trick TB, so I am more familiar with him in game. Hmm. All right. So, okay. Um, after going for mad of uh madness. After going for madness, you're going for Sanjin Yasha. Why would you go for Sanjin Yasha? Like I, I don't, I don't get any reasoning behind it. Because if if you go for Sanjin Yasha in this game, since they they don't have a lot of stuns, like. Their stun is only what? Telekinesis? Charge? Nether Strike. Only only those only those spells are the stuns. So status resistance is not actually that that great in this game. If you want to still go for um for more farming and fighting, I will go for Echo Saber. Because right now you're you're having mana issues and then you're playing against AM as well. If you go for Echo Saber, you will get more mana, uh, mana region, and then yeah, it's not gonna be a problem. And dying Q to lessen the duration, dude. The, the cooldown of this spell is very low. Do you really want to, to have a side of resistance on this decay? <laughs> no, it's not the case. You will only go for status resistance if the enemy has a lot of controls and BKB piercing disables. You're more comfortable with Sanjin Yasha than Echo Saber? It's gonna be a problem if you're comfortable with one item than another. Because there's there's no way that we will improve your itemization if you're comfortable with it and then you always go with that item. I feel that Isven is too easily kited with a Saber alone. Um, What are you going to do with, with, with Saber? Are you going to... Are you going to fight with Saber or are you going to... Farm with Saber. Because Echo Saber c can do both. With Sanjin Yasha, with Sanjin Yasha, you're always going to um, buy clarities for yourself. And lo look at the cost in here 4.1, 2.5, 2.5 only. 2.5. And after going for Echo Saber, you can go for a different item like Blink Dagger, um, maybe Silver Edge, I don't know. D depends on your choice, but after the uh, after the Echo Saber, that's the time that you can go for um, defensive item, or even rally your team to, to play against the objectives. But Sanjin Yasha, nah, you are going to buy a lot of consumables for yourself, which is fifty golds each time you, that you will buy the clarity. Um, by the way, the outpost has a vision, so they know that you are here. Undying is going to die. Holy shit, this Undying. Undying is dead. It's fine if you have teammates that has Arcane Boots or even CM's Arcane Aura. But if no one will sustain your mana, it's gonna be a problem. <laughs> what the fuck does Jay doing? Remove the Brazer now. Go for Ogre Axe. Ah, you committed the, sh the uh, God's Run. By the way, if you committed the God's Run right now and then Tinker is dead, you can easily go take this Roshan. If you go for Roshan, this one is dead. AM is not going to fight or contest Roshan. Tinker is dead. And Undying is dead. Or no TP because he TP to the outpost. That means he's going to walk. If you go for Roshan, it's it's gone. You made mistakes mid game. 
what is it? Uh, making killing Tinker harder later. Still going to fight. All right, double kill. But can you get objective in there? Echo Saber, um, good power spec for Roshan, not just for Roshan, at that point of the game. Even when you have Yasha, I'm, I'm telling you to go for Roshan. Why? There's no Tinker. There's no Tinker. AM is not going to fight. Undying no TP, respond. So that means Undying or uh, Undying is out. Um, Spirit Breaker and then Rubik is the one that will contest on the Roshan. So if you go for... God strength and then go for Roshan, your team will, will follow you. And the enemy cannot contest it. Good enough rate HR, what? I don't... Yeah, look at you, you don't have mana anymore. And then you're still playing in here, kind of dangerous. Your team is not here. You use Mad of Madness again. Oh, Madness again. By... I actually like your micromanagement. Go for int treads first before using the massive madness. You will get less clarities with it. <laughs> but it's still gonna be the same, right? You've been spending gold over clarities. Oh, Razor, okay. Yeah, you, you bought clarities again. How many clarities you bought so far? That's like four, four, four times now or five times? I don't know. But it's it's already two fifty gold, right? And look at your look at your itemization. Blink dagger, so you can go for God's strength and then burst someone with blink dagger, right? So Sanjin Yasha is not going to help you with the with the burst potential, but with the echo saber, since the, there's the uh, double strike, it can help you burst someone, which is really nice with your blink dagger build, because the the name of the game is kill a tinker and then the AM. The Undying Spirit Breaker, Rubik, is gonna be useless. So that's why I still want to go for Echo Saber for burst potential later. It's been as easy to kite, for sure, if you're going to walk. But since you're going for Blink Dagger, you're going to jump on them. Before they could kite you, they are dead. Blink Dagger, okay. Maybe use the Essence Ring as well. The, the AM is still not ready to fight though. Um, AM is dead. I think you should go to bottom right now. Because AM is going to farm in there. You just went to the uh, to the top lane. And then they're, they're, they're actually afraid. That, still no God Strength. Silver Edge. Um, why would you go for Silver Edge in this game? Even though there's no great passive of the enemy. Just trying to be sneaky, I guess. It's fine if that's the case. But this is not a really great buy on Sven. Um, why? You already have a mobility. Blink Dagger. Going for Blink Dagger and then Shadow Blade or Silver Edge is it's kind of overkill in, in gap closing. I think it's better if you just go for BKB after. Or Daedalus. Just so you can easily finish the job when you jump in. Like this. You're, you're committing so hard. Get back. You cannot really commit because of the laser and then you don't have BKB. Wait, th this laser is still... Yeah, blind rate. Still 100. Silver Edge was so hyped. Um, it's actually still situational item. It's just being buffed. L look at your Shadow Demon. He's actually doing a great job into going on, into finding the Tinker. And you died. Essence Ring. The Satish Resistance helped you in there against the Telekinesis, but that's it. Only Telekinesis. And then the stun on your Storm Hammer. You have magic wand and such. But yeah. Get back, buy back on Jay or Tinker. Team wipe. Still no big AB. If you have big AB, it will not happen. 
Alright, back to the game. Sell those items, going for BKB, uh, aborting the amulet, maybe? Or are you going to complete this? It feels like you're grieving right now. Amulet. <laughs> you have to complete it. And then you have God Strength, by the way. I, I don't know why you you're not making any call and then try to force the issue. See it in here? The moment that you respond and then with the um, with the god strength, you should make a call and then try to find the tinker. Right now you're playing three lanes at once: Shadow Demon bottom, Lina mid, Zeus Gyro jungle. So that farm has been uh, that camp has been farmed. Maybe there's a hero in there, and since. The enemy know that you TP'd on the, on the top lane, you're trapped in there. Even though you you have the spells, you cannot help your team right now. So, um, I think you overstayed in the top for too long, like after TPing. Um, this is actually advanced mechanic that I that I want to discuss, but um, the, the TP not actually that advanced. It's actually common now. The, the, the TP or the teleportation scroll is really important as you think. Uh, you don't have VKB, you're going to die in there. So this is why Sven is really easy to kite because you're showing yourself in there. You're not even finding the proper target. If you go for any other target and then Tinker is alive, he will just laser you and then you cannot do any damage. So you must go on a Tinker first or your teammate go on a Tinker first. And no more God Strength and yeah, you lost your timing. AM is activated now. Still going for BKB. I'm um, still playing three lanes. And you're showing in here. Your team is coming as well. Um, still no BKB and then you're trying to invade in here. Well, the enemy's afraid as well. Um, you could actually sell this right now. To complete it. You have to sell the magic one right now. And then deliver the item. De deliver the item. Buy it. It's been there for quite some time. God strength use. Nothing done again. Spider legs? BKB. Now that you have BKB, you don't have God strength. So I don't think you. And also, you 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 actually um, decided to go for the for, for the tower for the crypts in here. If the enemy is actually quick enough to check your items, they will know that you have BKB. Even here, when they are charging you, they know that you don't have God Strength, you don't have the damage, and possible they, they will know that you have the uh, BKB now. But you don't have damage. They can force the BKB out of you. Yep. Ah, they're not they're not committing. Tinker died. On the gyro? I think they can still go. They're still strong. AM is here. Look at this undying. Holy shit, undying. So strong. But you don't have damage. 110 damage. <laughs> you don't have damage, bro. This is 18k nest worth spent, by the way. And then you, you, you're, you're struggling to kill this undying. Now your BKB charges is out. But... Yeah, Tinker is overcommitted. Yeah. <laughs> you don't do any damage with no god strength. Um, okay. Trying to get some mana. Push, outpost, and then possible Roshan? Or mid? That's a dieback on Tinker. Do you guys know that it's a dieback on Tinker? I think I can still go. 30 seconds without Tinker. Nah, I don't have your team. Let's get back. Your team is not paying attention as well. Hmm. This guy followed you. That means they have vision. Where's the vision? Or is. Yeah, there's a vision in here. There's no way that a uh, creep 
that a creep will chase you on the high ground. Are you doing more replay analysis today? Um, I don't think I will be able to do more today because it's almost 7 p.m. in here. I'm going to get ready for dinner. Silver Edge completed. Finally, you're going for Roshan, even though you you managed to get it done before. But yeah, at least you, it's better late than than never. Um, Aegis on Sven. Why not on Lina? I actually want it on Lina. Lina is a much better carrier of Aegis. Because if Sven died with God Strength after respawning, you don't have the God Strength anymore, and then BKB. Whereas with Lina, she has the uh, she has the range, and then the the DPS thing. No stun. Wait. How did they die? Ah, uh, he used Manta first. What? Okay. He used Manta first before blinking in. Okay. We'll try the rush timings now. Yep. Um, if if you manage to properly do the Roshan, that means you you manage to uh, know your strength and then know the weakness of the uh, enemy. You, you need to realize the power spike of the enemy. Um, th this one came to me naturally because I you know I play off and in support. So I always check about the heroes, when this guy is good, when this guy is bad. Uh, you have ages, yeah sure, just walk in there. Like an idiot, right? No god strike, you're committed, BKB, what about the massive man? Buyback on... Wait, what? Laguna? On the ground? Um, I, I don't know why you didn't swap out your... Look at your cursor. You could actually put the Massive Madness right now while respawning and then check the items or you know status of your team or enemy. But no, you, you did nothing. Look at your camera angle, it's just in there. You're doing nothing. Despite being dead for like 5 seconds. Your camera stood in there. If you watch some of the um, high MMR player or pro carry, um, their camera is really impressive. Let's say um, here, they, they should command in here, farm this ancient camps. They will look around here for possible turnaround with the blink dagger. No, those things, they're doing it in a higher pace. Dead guy. You, you still have blink dagger though. And then you, Okay, you're blinking. Now you, you cannot push anymore because Tinker is alive. He bought back. What about the talent? Yep. Nothing unusual. I like the talent so far. Um, th they really need to, to get the... Um, what is this item? Orchid? 30 minutes into the game? Like, enemy has the spell. I mean, mana style on the um, AM, right? This one is a good solution to your mana issues. But uh, if, if you're going for... If you're thinking about the Orchid, you can actually go for Echo Saber and then disassemble it later. Echo Saber, disassemble it. Ogre Axe for BKB. Oblivion Staff for Orchid. Later. You don't have BKB anymore. You don't have Aegis anymore. And then your Zeus is still not here. The best thing that you could do is trap the enemy. Don't rush into going high ground. Just trap the enemy first. Nah, you're too impatient. This is really a trap for your team. And yeah. Why you're going for the tanky guy? You're, you're going to die and then... Okay, you, you survive. But you don't have BKB or God Strength. That means the siege is not going to, to, to complete. Ah, uh, you're, you're not a fan. Yeah, it's fine. Nothing we can do in there. This is actually too risky of you. Like, you don't have BKB, you don't have um, the health. And please, stop going on the Undying first. Undying is taking so long to, to die. 
Go for Rubik, AM, Spirit Breaker, uh, not Spirit Breaker, maybe Tinker. Tinker, Rubik, AM, that's your target. If you go for Undying and then Spirit Breaker, you're wasting your time. It's the same concept with the Invoker last time with the um, against the Bristleback. Yep. A good job into um, in closing the map for the enemy. Like, just farm their camps instead of going back to your jungle. Just zone them out. Just zone them out. Someone will commit mistake and then leave the lane. Or leave the base. So... Um, you actually completed your item without any buyback. Bloodthorn. It's actually good if one of your team is going to sneak up a ward. Like into their base, and then if they try to deward it, you jump in. So let's see how you. Um, Lena. Lena's dead. And then go, 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 go. Kill this guy. No buyback. Yep. Get back, get back. No more BKB. Disarm. Spider legs, maybe. Done. It, it will be. Yeah. Stun enough. The uh, spider legs is not free boots anymore. It's no longer considered as boot. And then they reduce the uh, bonus movement. You have to be, you have to be careful about it. Um, in that siege, just let the Lena die. Even if you can see the Tinker, the moment that you go in there, you are. You're making yourself separated from your team. And look at your draft. Um, you have the uh, Zeus, Gyrocopter, and the Shadow Demon. Those guys cannot follow up on you if you go in. They will never be able to follow up on you. And the enemy has, um, what? Anti-Mage? Undying? They will never be able to follow up on you. Uh, that's why it went badly. And then they're, they're actually going back into the game. So what's the next play in here? Potentially Roshan. Satanic. Satanic is nice for the um, dispel of laser later. But I think it's nice if you have like buyback as well. Like save up. You don't need to buy the claymore because you don't have slot for it. Going in blindly, no, no vision. Uh, okay, missed. AM. You're getting kited though. L look back, look back. Ah, uh, this is GG. Ah, you, you managed to survive in there. But I think at this point, it's actually game over. Although it's nothing that can, can be done with, with your Sven because of the positioning of the Lina, but... Um, the, the moment that you, that you respond, you should make a call for your team. Because right now you're you're the carry, you are the strongest hero on your team right now, as a carry, right? In the late game, it's always a carry, so you, you should make the call because you know that you are the strongest. And ages on the guy with the, with no buyback, so even if the even if the game will proceed like this, um, you cannot easily um, finish or go to siege the high ground unless they did this, you know. Earlier you couldn't finish the. You cannot go win a team fight because they're all in their base. And yep. Let's see it here one more time. You get baited again. So Gyro is still missing or still dead. Let, let's see it here. One last time. Farming bottom. Being charged. Gyrocopter incoming. Spirit Breaker, here we go. Good disruption for save. And you should not go. Yep, go. Oh, by the way, this guy has ages. Which is a mistake for me. 
Uh, remember that the AM blink in. Right? Remember that the AM blink in. R remember that. Even if the AM will use the BKB at this point, since you deal physical damage, he is not going to, to, to help himself. He needs to wait for another 5 seconds in here. At this point. Instead of chasing the guy with Aegis, I think you should go for AM. Yeah, you're really chasing him. Yeah, y y you chase too far. And look at AM. Sure, you can kill this guy. The power of buyback in here. Power of buyback. Dude, they don't have detection. Why did you break it? See it here. They have no detection. And you attacked. <laughs> You're actually safe in there. So you're dead. Buyback on Tinker and look at your team. No buyback on Gyro. I think he will die. And Shadow Demon, no buyback as well. You have buyback though, which is nice. Everybody wants to kill Tinker. <laughs> That's why it, it happens. Like, they committed to the guy with Aegis. Which means they, they wasted so much time chasing the Tinker. Instead of going for the AM who blinks in. Outnumbered Lina. Has by a bag. Now defending the... Yep, you have to reserve your buyback. Why are you not going to AM? Um, by the way, look at your initiation, okay? Look at your initiation in here. You don't have blink. Um, using the Nimbus, no sentry in there. If you go for blink and then stun, the anti mage can easily use the counter spell and then render you useless. It's been like that for. Ooh. He always managed to use. The... Wait, wait, wait. He actually used the counter spell before you use your stun. Um, the better way of doing it is actually sneaking up with the um, with a silver edge, attack and then stun, and use BKB as well. Because if you go for, let's say you go for blink in and then stun the AM, what are the chances that the um, Rubik and the um, the Tinker and Spirit Breaker is not with him or behind him to stop you from doing damage? Yeah, Silver Edge, not sneaky. Um, you're going to die. You can use BKB, but yeah, he got he got blink dagger and out. All right, now you're useless. You should go back to base right now. But even if you go back to base with full HP and then defend, uh, I don't think you will be effective in defending. You should go for divine rapier right now <laughs> instead of satanic. If you go, if you go for satanic, that means you want to stay stand your ground. But given their hero, like blink AM, I don't think you will be able to stand your ground. Thanks for the follow, fathead. Illusion. You can actually buy your satanic now with buyback. Nah, it doesn't show in here, right? Uh, yeah, 2.5 surplus. So you, you still have, you still need 200. If you die in here, you don't have buyback. You're still farming, even though you, you, you finish your item. Um, I think this is the problem of your game. You are not making any call. Um, th there are ways to make calls. One, the the uh, the most effective is using the voice, or if it's not effective, try to type, like let's go smoke. If if it's not effective, still try to make a drawing. Since you're here, let's say you're here, 
and you, you want to make things happen, um, I would suggest you go here. You, you make a drawing like this, and then control this, and then go for Roshan. You know? If I draw like this, this, and this, it's easy to understand that I want I want the whole team to go to the Ancients, control the area, and then wait for the Roshan. That's what I meant with this drawing. You don't need to speak English with this ping or with this drawing. Everyone can understand it. Right? Even if even if they muted you. Those drawings is much better when it comes to the expression of your idea on what do you want to do. But here, since you there's no ping, there's no chat calling, and you're going to show yourself in here. So yeah. You're just basically waiting for the enemy, uh, waiting for the enemy to commit mistakes, which is very unlikely. In a uh, well, it's it's still likely, but of course you you have to assume that your enemy is really good, that they will not commit mistakes. So therefore, you you need to force them to commit mistakes, All right? Thanks for the follow, um, nice of Kaizu. Do you have any questions to me so far, uh, Pastiche? So far. And please don't go for spider legs. Pause game, what the fuck? Last clash. Or is the gyro going to go back? Ah, uh, okay, you already lose because of this. And you're actually playing alone, even though you, you know that your team is, again, in your base, and then Gyro is, is disconnected. You, you keep doing this. Um, You need to understand your lineup. Again, Zeus, Gyro, Lina, Shadow Demon. If you go in, they cannot follow up. So you, you just wasted your BKB in there. So a general rule will be Madness, Saber, Blink, BKB, then Luxor. It depends on the game. It depends on the state of the game and your timing. It's not... I don't want you to be fixated on one guide to another. It really depends on each game. Yeah, I think we should um, end the analysis now because you... Because we are not going to learn anything from there. Do you have any questions to me though? I just want to know if you have any questions to me. I want to know if you have any questions about the game. Because if not, we're just going to summarize your game in here. You actually, you guys um, actually playing rank roles, which is, I don't really like rank roles. Or maybe because I'm immortal, that's why I don't like rank roles. Um, I, I do play classic. The main difference with rank roles and then classic is that um, everyone will try to steal the role that they want. And then um, their skill level is actually much higher compared to the role queue guys. Classic versus role queues. Classic has more or has higher skill level than role queues. One of the reasoning is that they don't have a comfort role to begin with. They have to always think about what they can do best with their role with their hero. But the problem is if no one, if someone don't want to adjust, it's gonna be a compromise. Like every, someone will throw the game. Someone will be toxic throughout the game. You know, it's natural. It's normal. If no one don't want to adjust, especially if there are two cores in one game. Uh, this one is roll queue. I tried it. I, I I do try roll queue for quite some time, but I always don't like the result. I always play um classic, 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 classic. Yeah. Since I don't have a comfort role, I just only have like a uh, preferred role. Regardless of my hero, I always think about what what can I do in this game? How can be effective? How can I make my enemy uh, suffer? You know. Still thinking? 
It's been quite some time. What will be the tower priorities? It's an easy, uh, it's an easy question though. You try to take either mid or enemy safe lane. But mid lane is much harder, but it has more impact to the game. Once the mid lane, uh, once the mid tower has been, has been destroyed, it's much easier for your team to, um, to rotate. And also it's not gonna be that dangerous when farming or, or, fa or playing around the river. Because the enemy don't have a, um, don't have a tower to, to connect. You like roll queues? Hmm. I mean, it's still it's still a uh, a matter of preference. That's um. I only talk about roll queues and then classic because of my experience. Like when I play classic, the quality of game is much higher. It has it has higher highs, but it has lower lows. Power priorities and in a gauge of Sven's power spike. Um, it's not just about you. It's not just about your Sven. But you have to think about your enemy as well. You have to think about the enemy. You have to think about your teammate if they're ready. Um, let's say at that point in your Sven, when I said that you can easily go for Rosh because AM is still farming. He just got his Battle Fury, which means he's still going to farm 20 minutes into the game. Alright? There's no way that the Battle Fury AM will try to fight. And then Tinker's dead. That's a nice trick you got. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm, I'm in a losing streak. And then uh, after losing, I the, the internet is out. Which is really annoying, you know? Really annoying. But yeah, it's all good now. Any follow-up questions, though? Where's your match in here? It's actually, uh, you actually need to have, like, proper communication to do those things. Like Roshan saying? It, 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 it can be done easily. Look at this. This one is dead earlier, right? And then this guy only has Battle Fury. And dying TP to the outpost. No other items from Low Zord. I am and one last advice, advice that I could give you. Please check the items of the enemy. Because <laughs> you're not checking the enemy's items. You're getting surprised by their items. This guy has Albert. Oh, nice. Now I cannot do anything. <laughs> I cannot hit someone. So, yep. Guess that will do. You're not sure. Um, if you do have any questions though, you can always, um, ask the guys in my Discord. You know, they are always open when it comes to the discussions. Um, I actually like those guys. If you are going to uh, ask a question in there, I'm sure you will get the uh, response. But I'm not sure about the rank of the uh, player that will respond. But at least they will have a. Uh, they are really eager to have a discussion, not your usual, you know, group of, group of people that will just shit on you when you share the uh, match ID. I, I like it. So yeah, uh, I thank you for your time, uh, Pistache. I don't know if I, if I if I pronounce it right. Pistache. Or n not actually peach. It's actually pass. Pastiche. Pastiche? I don't know. Yeah, thank you for your time though.